Hi and welcome to Cook in a Box module Dam Part with Rosella Jam. Today we will be making a jam out of our Rosella syrup. If you have a kitchen facility or the kitchen cart, you will need a saucepan and wooden spoon. If you don't have the cooking facilities to make the jam, simply remove the lid from your syrup and add in the pre-measured amount of chia seeds. Give it a stir and this can be stored in the fridge for up to one week. If you are using a cooktop, you will need a saucepan and a wooden spoon. And you can simply tip in your syrup into the pan, heat it through, turn off the heat, then add your pre-measured chia seeds and allow this to cool. The chia seeds act like a thickening agent and it will absorb and thicken that jam. So by the end of the class, when your damper is ready out of the oven, the jam will be ready to eat. To make the damper, in your kit, you will have all the ingredients you need. As the teacher, at the start of the class, you will need to portion out, and we recommend in containers, between about five to six students. You will have some bulk flour and milk. Each student will need a mixing container, an empty container, and a paddle pop stick. The ingredients are divided out onto the tables using the spare containers along with the measuring spoons. It's a tablespoon measure in the milk and a one third of a cup measure in the self-raising flour. Also in the kit is the baking powder. First of all, the students will need to measure their one third of a cup of flour into their mixing bowl. This is a great talking point to remind the students not to overfill when they're measuring. What we need is a nice, level accurate measure of their flour. And by simply using their paddle pop stick, they can level off their flour, just like that, nice and accurate. The students then place the flour into their bowl. And then we're going to add a nice pinch measure of our baking powder. The next thing they need to measure is the milk. And again, remind them to fill it up. It's two tablespoons of milk for this recipe and make sure that the milk comes all the way up to the top of their measure and that it's not underfilled. So two tablespoons of milk in with the self-raising flour and baking powder. Using the paddle pop sticks provided in your kit, the students can then mix it until a dough forms. Remind them to get right down into the corners until all that flour is combined with the milk. Once the dough has come together, to form a great looking damper roll. Using the leftover flour from when they were measuring, each student can put a sprinkle of flour down on their bench. This just helps it to avoid sticking. Place their damper roll on the sprinkle of flour and we're just going to gently knead it until it becomes nice and smooth. Into the shape of our damper bread roll. Using the baking paper provided in your kit, line the baking trays with the paper and these can then go out on each table or someone responsible go around and collect all the damper rolls ready for baking. These will bake in the oven for approximately 10 minutes and the temperature should be set to 180 degrees. Whilst these are baking in the oven, students can be cleaning up their benches. As simple as scraping it down into their takeaway container, all the leftovers ready for rinsing out and recycling or into the bin. Once they're golden brown, you can take your damper out of the oven and they're ready for serving. Using the knives provided or your kitty's food cutter, the dampers can be cut in half and using the spoons provided, you can then spoon on some of our Rosella jam on one half for students to taste and they can leave the other half plain if they desire. So we hope you've enjoyed your cooking class today. Happy cooking from Get Kids Cooking.